So, M20 Drop. This is Andrew, otherwise known as Music Mike. He broke his femur while on tour with Carly Rae Jepsen. That's a, it's a crazy story to have, but here we are. So, yeah. We are going to do this M20 Draft with Andrew. <clears throat> and I'm going to let Andrew pick some of these cards. You got to read them, though. Yeah, I do. Um, well, you got to tell me some stuff, right? What do you want to know? I don't know. Tell me some of the cards that I might not, because it's been a minute. Obviously, it's a core set, so it's easier, but... Uh, if there's any like holy shit draft picks that have been like amazingly good or nothing any colors. really great here, I mean yeah. they're pretty average. Corpse Knight's okay. Mm -hmm. You're committing, or it's a gold card out the rip, right? Kind of sucks. Out the what? Out the rip. Out the rip. Yeah. A gold card out the rip. Mm -hmm. And then you got Boneclad Necromancer, which is a five mana three three. Mm -hmm. But when it enters the battlefield, you can exile a creature if you do make a two two. So it's That's three nice. three and it's two two for five. I like that. Octo Prophet's not bad. Yeah, I like that a lot actually. Three three for four, and then you scry two. Yeah. Um, we just said um at the same time. Jinx, <laughs> got him. I like the Octo Prophet and the Necromancer, but what else? <clears throat> Counter target spell, draw a card. Not terrible, but not first pickable. I wouldn't say. Uh uh. Octo Dad is solid. I'm first picking the Octopus and not being happy. Yeah, this pack's not great. It's not great. I don't know. I mean, is blue playable in this? Hammer time. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. We really appreciate it, Josh. Thanks so much, dude. Oh, yeah. Subs is like the, the lifeblood of you. That's very helpful. Subs is the lifeblood of me. Let's uh, let's just Octo Profit. Let's just get this shit pack over with. <laughs> let's just move on. Let's just... Ooh. Ooh, there's a good pick in here. Let's see if you... Uh... Well, let's I don't see if know. you recognize it. I don't know the set at all. I haven't seen it. Is blue cards. ever not playable? No. Well, it's, yeah, it's true. Um, Meteor Golem's expensive, but... But look what it does, Andrew. It's pretty good. Also, look at this Look at this art that it has here with the movement. You yeah, like that's this? wild. So you can get styles for cards, and they replace the art with this, so it looks like it's moving, and it's actually pretty sweet. I'm a big fan of the way these look. Yeah, that's awesome. <clears throat> um, is that your card? Is that the pick? Um... Uh, yeah, this is this would be the pick for me. Audacious Thief yeah. is also very good. Whenever it attacks, you draw a card and lose a life, which is very, very good. Yeah, that is very this good. This is all right. Deals three, you gain three. This card's good. Three, three flyer for five, where you make two treasures. Yeah. But it's funny that they don't tell you what treasure tokens are. Yeah. It's treasures, you like you pay and draw cards, right? No, you sacrifice them to make a mana. Oh, right, right, right. You're God, thinking of well. clues. Yes. Yeah. Uh, all right, yeah, let's grab that golem. Grab that golem. Grab that golem. Look at this beautiful boy. This beautiful vulture boy. Um, This pack's also pretty unexciting. Mm. Do you have these cards skinned? The cards with the... the yeah, if, if they look like this, then I do. Okay. If they don't, then I don't. Well, that has to mean that you like playing that card to some degree. No, it actually... Oh. Uh, they gave... It was a promo that they gave away. Mm. Wow, <clears throat> there are some real mids in here. This is a mid, yeah. This is this is a real mid format. Do we want you know, one, like three a flying vigilance cove just to like open that? Ah, that seems kind of early to just take land. New YouTube settings are working. I watch like one in every five videos because they all come as flagged for magic videos. Gambling, super, that's really weird. That's why? So are, why? What are the? How do the one and five get through then? That's weird. Lay that pistol down. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I'd probably say like Fry's also not bad. Just deals five damage to a creature that's white or blue. I mean, as a sideboard card, it's whatever. It feels a little conditional. You're yeah. a little conditional. Also, we can try to take this Chandra's Ember Cat. Uh -huh. It's just a 2-2 two, two for two. And then you can uh, <clears throat> add a add a red to, sp to spend on elementals. Hmm. Also, Gorging Vulture is not terrible. Yeah, I feel like black and blue are always like a good combo. Yeah, we'll take the Gorging Vulture. I don't love it, but it's fine. Oh, there's a Shock. Ooh, Damn. Love a good shock. He loves a good shock. Love a good shock. There's also a Leafkin dry, Druid, which is a elemental. Mm -hmm. There's elementals. There's an elemental sub theme in the set as well. Okay. Yeah, you got to keep me posted on on those. You got to keep me educated. I feel like shock is the pick. I mean, maybe I'm valuing that too high, but no, it's just I think so it's fine. Good. I don't think there's anything really compelling here. Like, I think it's either shock or Leafkin Druid. I don't think either. These are the only blue and black cards, and I don't think they're great. So, mm -hmm. lay that pistol down. Yeah, I'm just going to take the shock. Yeah. It's whatever. 
<clears throat> uh, I'm leaning towards Boneclad Necromancer. Oh, yeah. Because I don't think it's... like we, we don't have any green cards, so I don't care about Spider. Yeah. Tectonic Rift is meh. Feral Abomination is meh. Zephyr yeah. Charge is meh. All of these are... These are all white cards. Yeah. And this card's not right. Mm. Yeah, I think this yeah. is fine. Yeah. And it keeps it open for black, blue, or black, red. Mm -hmm. This card's interesting. Return a creature you control and each aura attached to it to their owner's hands. Activate this only during your turn. So you could bounce it and, uh, like, if you have a card like Octo Prophet, you can bounce it and gain more light, or uh, scry again. Or you can bounce this guy and make more 2-2s. Two yeah. I mean, it's kind of mana intensive, but it does have some, some neat interactions. It's cute. And there's Rift Scale Predator, which is just 6-5 with Menace. That's crazy. It's expensive, but good um huh okay oh it's also double red well we haven't really committed to anything right we know we have black uh duress is probably not a draft That's it's fine if you pick one up but i mean it's not you're not gonna yeah. pick it like as a main deck card i feel like mind rod is in a similar spot this yeah. card's also fine three two flyer that has flying on your turn so it's three two flyer for oh, four, that's, basically that's nice actually yeah let's go with that yeah nice and aggro i like that <clears throat> Wow, Dragon Mage? Wasn't that rare back in the day? Yes, it was definitely a rare back in the day. It's also not great here. How many times you play each for your discard for the hand and draw a similar card? Huh. So, like, you just don't want to give your opponent seven cards. That's funny. Oh, also, yeah, if you bounce Meteor Golem with the portal, it's pretty good. You just keep replaying it and killing the best thing. Yeah. That's actually pretty sick. I think there were two portals, though, so if one comes back, that's pretty cool. Yeah, fuck, we should have caught that. <clears throat> but we also it also puts us at blue. I guess we just take the Feral Abomination here. Yeah, I mean, it's expensive, but it's... It's whatever. Is that vampire? That vampire is just vanilla? Yeah, it's just a literal 3-2 for 3. Wow. Uh, Lavakin Brawler is actually pretty good. This is usually like a 5... It's usually like a 5-4 when you're attacking because of the number of elementals you can get, but... All right, let's... I, I assume we're going to be looking towards yeah. red-black here. Oh, but there's the... There's a portal. I mean, Fire elemental's fine. <clears throat> it's an elemental. In, yeah, I know. That's interesting. So do we take that and then ditch yeah, our I, weird portal strategy? Yeah, I don't think we... Yeah, I think our, our red cards are fine right now. I don't think there's yeah. any reason to, to get super cute with the with the blue cards. This is Music Mike in the house. He broke his femur. Yep. Yep. Sure did. Not on camera, but broken. On the stream today, he broke it. <laughs> yeah. It was a really aggressive stream. We were drafting too hard. Jeez. And there's just a bunch of junk toward the end. Yeah. Bunch of junk towards the end. <coughs> what do we got here? Oh, there's a Chandra. Ooh. Ooh, and that's nice with those elementals. Yeah, elementals you can draw a plus two, plus oh. You can add two red, or they just she just two shocks. That's awesome. Yeah, it's really good. We'll take that. Yeah, that's... I don't know what I'm doing here, but it's going to be fun. Oh, wow. That's oh, crazy. Shit. Wait, that was pass? Mm -hmm. Until your next turn. Wow. Actually, we could probably cut the black for blue. Whoa. I mean, we have to take that. Yeah, right? it's for sure. That's great. Oh, God. I must pick the wrong one. Holy. Yeah, so we can actually add add back the Octo Prophet and then just Ooh. cut Vulture. Because we're only, we're only losing Vulture, Boneclad, and Feral Abomination, which is not a lot. Look at that shock. Oh, that's, that's not bad. Sleep Paralysis and, is also oh, pretty good. Oh, and there's an Anticipate... Anticipate's not super exciting, though. Really? Yeah, it's all right. But Sleep Paralysis, tap a creature, and then it doesn't untap during its controller's untap step. It's I just guess basically removal. Yeah, like, I guess that's, like, a later shock. Like, if we already have a shock... Sorry, <laughs> choking. Uh, <laughs> if we already have a shock, then Sleep Paralysis handles stuff later in the game? Yeah. I agree with that. I think Sleep Paralysis is good. I hate passing a shock, but... <clears throat> oh, Scampering Scorcher. Another elemental, wow. It's a 1-1, one, one, and when it enters the battlefield, you put make two other 1-1 one, one elementals, They all, and then your elementals you control gain haste. Oh, wow. That seems very good right now. Is there anything else that's close I to I like that right Brineborn now? Cutthroat. It's a 2-1 with Flash. Whenever you cast a spell during your opponent's turn, put a 1-1 counter on it, but we don't have that many spells that we're going to cast during their turn. No, I feel like that elemental is so much better for I us. agree with you. Although we do a lot of 4-drops right now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 wow. 4-drops. All right, no more. Here's another good one. <laughs> So really what we want to do is we want to pick up some of those those two-drop cats so they can ramp us right into four. Mm. Yeah. Do we care? Uh, that fire elemental is kind of whatever. Oh, the what's, fire elemental is poop. Yeah. What's that little blue uncommon? Blue uncommon? This mm. guy? He's not great. 
Oh. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, whatever. I mean, I love Anticipate. I know you do. It's just not... Okay. It's not super good. Scuttlebutt's also fine. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and yeah. It's just uncommon. It's just a nice... It's just a good card. D is Unsummon good still? It's fine. Okay. I think these are probably about on par. Really? One, two, three. We have six, seven four drops now. That's a lot of four drops. That's a lot of four drops. We really want that two mana guy. Well, we should get an Anticipate so we can find it. Well, we don't have it in our deck, but well, I guess it, we could find it better if we do get it. We could anticipate that we would get it. Damn it! it. Okay. <laughs> we'll <laughs> see more. We'll see more. Uh, we can take another four drop in Bone to Ash. I think we're just going to take the Goblin Bird Grabber. It'd be nice. It to gets have flying. It. Yeah. Oh, it's just a two drop. A little bit more. Oh, Metropolis Sprite is a nice one. Ooh. It's just a one two flyer becomes a two one flyer. I like the two drop spot. And nothing exciting here at all. Uh uh. What's is that lockbox anything? It's really bad. Choose a card name, then reveal the top card of your library. If the card name is chosen, if the card has the chosen name, sacrifice it and draw three. And activate it only anytime you can cast a sorcery, so you can't even do it during their turn. Oh, God. can you at least choose land names? Oh, the reason being that like you can't untap and like, so you can't do it at the end of their turn, see the card, and then do it again during your upkeep and name the exact card. So, hmm. whatever. Well, uh... no, we're not gonna play anything here. Just, just junk. Scorch Spitter is actually not terrible, especially because it's an elemental, so yeah. it's kind of. I mean, we're kind of picking junk right now, anyway. Right. Oh, look. Here you go. Let's go. It's like the Evolving Wilds. Fuck. No, well, actually, I feel like Evolving Wilds is pretty good. No, I anticipate it's better. We're just two-color deck. You don't need yeah. Evolving Wilds here. Thank you. Eh, Weaponsmith is a 1-3 is fine. CJ, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Yo, what up? New Yo. subs. Let's go. Yo. Yo. Here. Yeah, this pack's pretty unimpressive. Yeah, damn it. Biscuit. Swift water cliff. I don't mind Uncaged Fury. It just kind of kills people out of nowhere. Yeah, it's annoying. I remember that card. I remember being annoyed. I mean, on a Yarox Wave Crusher, you're doing 10. On a 4-4, four, four, you're doing 10. What's Metal Joe, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate you. Uncaged Fury. Lay that pistol down. There is not Still much here. I mean, the, the Octo Prophet, but that's another four drop. I think it's just Uncaged Fury. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking that too, but I'm like, I don't need another four drop here. Whoa. What? Ooh, let's get that splash. The granddaddy of elementals. Can we just? Yeah, I think we can actually get that Thornwoods Falls later. Maybe. So when, when I'm not finished battlefield, it deals damage equal to the number of elementals you control. Oh. We and then have whenever to. a land enters battlefield under your control, put a one-one counter on an elemental you control. If you control eight or more lands, draw a card. Yeah. We are some elemental boys. Omnath is way too good to pass. Let's there. go. Lava can brawler, very very good. Probably the pick, even though we don't have great ways to. Um. So let's see what we can cut. We can cut. Octo Prophet. We can cut the Dagger Cell Aeronaut. They're both decent, but I, if we want to focus on elementals, elementals. What? That's wow. Crazy. We're just passing. This is like three mythics. Yeah, that's weird. I mean, I don't know these planeswalkers too well, but it seems crazy. I mean, this is triple red, so it's a, uh, triple, triple green. It's a lot harder to cast. Yeah, there's no. I mean, like we could hate pick it, but there's no way we cast them. Well, it's you're drafting against bots on course at twenty in, in arena. Oh. It's just eight bots or seven bots in you basically. So you're just getting random. Huh. You're getting a random selection of cards basically. Funny. So they don't like value draft ever. Not, not that I know of. Hmm. So I could see us taking the Leafkin Druid. Yeah. Because it's the only thing I really care about. But, like, it does ramp us, and if we do have a higher concentration of green. Do we want the cliffs? Yeah, I think we do, because it lets us cast... Um, it lets us add more forests, basically. Or, mm -hmm. or Prismite's also just fine. Ooh, actually. Because you can cycle it to get the Omnath mana. That might be better. Because that, like, that's another source, right? Where it's just, like, straight up, like, green. That fully gets you green anytime you need it. Yes. Hmm. 
because what was the other one? If it wasn't the cliffs, the the green blue one, yeah. that would be nice. But I'd say maybe that. Here's one. Another leaf can dry out. Druid, druid, dryad. It's another anticipate, Frank. I don't think we're anticipating here. I think it's just leaf can druid. Yeah. And then we'll. Oh, forest. There you go. We do need those. <laughs> I'm gonna take the metropolis sprite. I trust you. I appreciate that. Of course. Of course. Of course. Uh, Unchained Berserker is actually pretty good. Pro White is definitely relevant, and it's a three-one attacker. I mean, we can yeah. put that guy on the sideboard. Sure. Come on, Thornwood Falls, don't do me like this. I know. You can probably take one Rip Scale Raptor. I think that's fine for like a late game. Yeah, there's something else we're gonna be playing. Another Uncaged Fury. Sure. Sure. Eh, plummet's fine. Sideboard. Didn't we didn't didn't happen. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. It didn't happen. Last card, let's go. Oh. It's, it's a sign though. I think we're still gonna splash it. Like we can play like two forests or something. Yeah. And we have the little Tinkin Prismite. The Tinkin. The Tinkin. So this is actually what, seven seven six four? Did it just build it for you? That's what it does. It puts your mana base for you. So seven four. Yeah, this is actually seven seven three is fine. Uh, I don't think we're gonna play this guy though because we're not gonna. If we have the green for the for the Leafkin Druid, we already have the green for the Omnath, so I'm not like. Yeah. Uh, I'm following your lead here on the build because I don't know the the layout. When the second Great Depression hits, do you and Mike want to go have these with me on a refrigerator box? I'll let you pick whatever corner you want to sleep in first. What does that even mean? Like the box the refrigerator came in, mm -hmm. is what you're saying? Because maybe. I could, eh, maybe. I could just see playing the other uncaged. How many creatures do we have in this deck? 17? Uh, 15. Uh -huh. Still a lot. It is still You were like, eh, not as many, I guess. 17. All right, we're going to splash this Omnath off of three forests and a Prismite. I think this yeah. is actually fine. This is going to be fun. We have that Anticipate, so we'll be fine. We can't lose. Let's... Let's change our deck to. There we go. Yeah. Now we got the Omnath deck box. Yeah, cool. All right, I let's see what we can do. Kurt will have a two story refrigerator box. That's true. And we can lord over those people living in microwave boxes. God, those microwave box people. Uh, what is the temp in my house? Uh, it's like 74, but there's also a fan right in front of me, and it's awkward because I get cold when the fan is right on me, but then if I turn it off, I get warm, so I'm kind of like, it's hard to regulate. And, like, you just look cool wearing a hoodie. Yeah, and I just like, I, I'm, a, I'm a real fashion over function kind of guy. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at this hand. Let's go. See, and it's, the forest is great because we have a lot of blue sources, so we don't really need the blue. The blue. Or we don't need that. We we don't need this early, as I was what I'm saying, because we can probably just pick it up. And if we get a blue next turn, we can play this and give this guy flying. Oh, that's it. Oh, we didn't draw any land at all, so we just have One mono land. four drops in hand. All right. Well, that's fine. That's one awkward turn. Well, we're hoping for. Uh, Another okay. four drop. Another four drop is what we're hoping for there. That's what we wanted. Nailed it. Got him. <laughs> Can't lose now. Oh, look, I would like to do that. That's like our whole plan. Oh, we All did it. All right, let's go. What do you do? Nothing? You just shock something? Yeah, we're just going to play. I'll play my own Lava Kin Brawler. No attack. This guy's not an elemental, right? He is a troll. He is a troll. How many elementals do we have? We have two, and this would be three. Okay. So we can actually play this next turn. If we hit a land, we can also play the land to put a counter on something. Ooh. Which is pretty nice. What a fun little random rare to get in this deck. Ooh. -y. Ooh. How big is this going to be? That's a 6 4, good buddy. Just take six. Damn. It doesn't, it doesn't feel good, but what are you, you going to do? Yeah, you're right. That brawler is pretty good. Yeah, it, it's 
Oh, but look, we, we, uh, we oh, hit our plan. Give this hex proof. But don't we go Omnath into land? And then. Well, because we can only deal three. We only have three. So we can only. We, if we deal three to this, it's not great because they just give it hex proof. Oh, shit. And we uh, don't want to deal four to this. We, you know, dealing three to this doesn't do anything. So I think we just play Brawler here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's another good blocker. And. Do we hold the land? I don't know. That's what I'm wondering. I feel like we almost do. Is it worth a 1-1 counter? Because if we hit another land, we get to play this too next turn, which is nice. Yeah. So. No attacks. Also, we can double block this now unless they... One, two, three, four. Unless they play two more elementals, it's decent. They have four cards in hand? Why do they have so many cards in their hand? I don't know. Did they draw? I guess they haven't played that much. It feels like they've played a million things. If they have plus three, plus three, it's real bad. I'm just going to take it. Yeah. Because plus three, plus three just wrecks. Any, any trick wrecks us, actually. Oh, that guy's real. That guy's real problematic. Interesting though, with the double strike. <laughs> Got it him. is so animated. Jesus. No attacks. <laughs> so one, two, three, four. So these are sixes. Yeah. If we can stay alive, I feel like we come back and win pretty easy. Well, this guy's. Freaking huge. Yeah, but a deal with a bull? Like, it's deal with a bull. Uncaged Fury? Oh, well, less. Okay. That's good. That's fun. Not the best. Oh, just had two of those. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, Convenient. He does have all those cards. Must be nice. No cards, but oh, that's actually pretty good. Ooh, ooh, oh, fucking sure. All right, got him. So there we go. What they name Red? Oh, that's a good one. Was it Pro Red? I missed it. Uh, no, it's whenever you cast the spell of the chosen color, you put a one-one counter on it. Oh, got it. Two, three, four, five. They can pump this, and it gets plus one, plus one for each elemental you control. Also, just really hard to deal with. Because mm -hmm. it gets one, two, three, four. It gets plus four, plus four. So many opportunities to get lost. Thank you. Just get rid of that. Courageous Kitty, thank you so much for the sub. It's been a while since I've been able to catch your stream. Got a new badge. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. What did you say? Uh, I was just saying you just get rid of that knight right away. Yeah, because it's a 3-3, three, three and it's hard to deal with. It's Oh, this is also an elemental, so one, two, three, four, five. So mm. it's seven, seven? Jeez. Yeah, that's pretty good. We're getting out elemental. We are getting out elemental, which is really sad. I hate that. I hate getting out elemental. It's my least favorite way to get elemental. If I'm gonna get out something, I don't want it to be elemental. No. Well, I guess they're just gonna just gonna go ham. I am. So we got to do some blocks now, right? Well. Looking good. Looking good. <laughs> Greetings from Middle Europe. Love your content so much. I remember Laporte. I do remember the Laporatory. Those the were good times. Laporatory. <laughs> we're in a cape with a gifted sub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. I oh. get so hyped when people sub. It's a good. It's a good feeling. It's dope. 
So what are we doing? One, two, three, four. It'd be, it would be actually hilarious if we had enough elementals to just kill them here. Because, like, we can give elementals plus two plus zero, so that's four. Right. This makes it a five, and double strikes, so that's ten. Yeah, we're just going to go to the next game. Yeah. Ooh, that's so weird to see you, like, import or, like, a, a consume. It happens like, all the time. <laughs> So was that us? Like, could we have built that? We got kind of stuck. Oh, on it would the pump itself. So it'd be drops. twelve. So it would be what three? It's a three four, then a four five four, then a six. So yeah, it would be twelve. I don't like. I have no idea what's even like. Like these guys are pretty bad, but they're elementals, so they kind of like have a synergy with the deck. Yeah. So I don't hate them, but. I don't know. I don't think our sideboard's great. I don't think our deck is great. I don't even know how to draft this format, to be honest with you. My record with this format is terrible. Is it? It's not great. I, I mean, I don't know. This is my first time seeing it. I mean, it's corsets. So it's because, nonsense. like, it's it's really hard to... Like, you're, like, there's a lot of, like, big, fat, idiot creatures. Mm -hmm. Oh, this hand seems great. If we can hit... Like, this is just mono mythics here. If we can hit one more land that lets us play this on turn three, it'd be yeah, great. that's crazy. I forgot we had that. Never, hashtag never forget. Mm -mm. Oh, well, we do have Prismite for two drop. Yeah, but it's going to take an extra turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still play it. They shock our Prismite. That would be so rude. I'd be so mad. I'd cry. Well, we have the forest, so I'm not, like, super... Well, that's sad. Don't know, there's no way to block there. <laughs> How come he doesn't have a pet? Uh, he did not get there. There's a thing called the Mastery Pass. Yep, no blocks. Yep, no Jeez. land. Can't play anything. Cool. It's so dumb. For you. I mean, at least we're like still on the same tempo right now. Yeah, but I mean, they get lands, so it's not going to last for long. Correct. So what's our move? What do we play once we get land now? <laughs> it depends on what land we get. Yeah. If we just get a non-blue land, we literally can't play anything except for like this one drop. I know. So. Oh, yep, yeah, that's pretty insane. Jesus. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Holy. Totally reasonable. No! Like, not yet. It doesn't do anything. Like, we play this, and they attack us for ten. Even if we block two, they, we take six. Like... Scorcher is another block. We're so fucking far behind. Yeah, we Double can't even play strike. this. We have no blue. Or we have no... This is the only card we can play. Or this, if we add a red. Play it out for your boy. They can actually make this unblockable and then pump it because it gets plus one plus one for each elemental, so it's one, two, three, four, so make it a four, four. Mm -hmm. So it's an unblockable four damage. Wait, where's the unblockable at? Uh, oh. Another creature with two or less can't be blocked. Ooh. Do you think they see it? Well, it's too late now because it's four, six. Yeah, so I mean, like, we block here and here, and we still take 246. So, All I mean, right. like, it wasn't even a game. Like, we didn't even get to do anything. Like, yeah, that sucks. This is just my least favorite. Like, it, this is why I just don't love this core set, because it's just. I don't know it well enough. Like those the, the cards like, aren't strong enough for you to come back from situations like that. Like there's there's very few cards that you can play in a situation like that where you're just gonna be like I feel like our okay, packs I came back. were so whatever though. They were pretty meh. But I don't think they were our packs. I think that's just kinda how the packs look. Hmm. What hmm. that guy just has Andrew? How's that guy's name Andrew? That's such a flex. That's my name. Wow. 
My name is my name. How do you That's... just have Andrew? Yeah, it's pretty good. Damn. Now you can never have it. I know. I'm pissed. How much? Are you really? I hope he sees this stream and he's like, damn, that kid's name's Andrew? Yeah. I feel bad. Bucks. I'll give him his, wow, 20 bucks since yours. All right. So we want to, we want another blue for this, but. I don't know. I think like maybe we went a little too hard on the four drops. Like. Maybe. Maybe. Yikes. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. No idea what you're talking about. Uh, this is pro green. Sure. Oh, I'll Hello. trade. Fascinating. Pull some, pull some, yeah. Oh, you can have duplicate names on Arena. What? Can you? I guess. No way. Really? Hmm? Switch yours to Andrew. Why would I do that? Lay that pistol down. So next turn, this is nice, because when this comes into play, you return a creature to your hand so we can bounce this guy. Oh, that's very nice. And then replay it to make more gentlemen. Elementals. The problem is that you lose, it doesn't have haste, right? This guy gives haste to all the creatures. So. Ah, it doesn't matter, there's not gonna be another turn, I guess. They just, okay. Yeah, all 15, right. I don't know. You got me. Damn, Andrew. Andrew is not having it. Didn't really see you as a quitter, but that's fine. T Typical Andrew. It's not. That's so Andrew's like Andrew. Are... That wasn't a very Andrew move. Oh, got an Ugin's Conjurant. Oh, wait, did they concede the whole match? Jeez. All right, well, that's weird. Their head just wasn't in it. That was a real person, too? Names on Arena are unique. That's interesting. Hmm. Yeah, these are all human beings. We're playing against human beings, Andrew. Humans. Music Mike, what's your current favorite band and art or artist? Oh, wow. Uh, what is my favorite? I, I make a monthly playlist. Let me see what's coming up a lot. It's always such a hard one. That's what she said. <laughs> nice. Hugh, 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 Hugh. Hugh, 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 Hugh. Um, this is a really, really weird artist, but it's a producer that I really love, and then a girl that he worked with, and the project is called 100 Gex, G-E-C-S, and then they made an album called 1000 Gex. It's That's really weird, but I really like it. Um, and then, like, I don't know, Kevin Abstract, I guess, is another one that I've listened to a bunch. I don't know who that is. Uh, I've been listening to, like, like really weird, like, kind of, like, chill hip-hop Kind of, kind of vibe, kind of, kind of what I've been in right now lately. What about you guys? What have you guys been listening to? What did I miss here? What are we playing? Green, blue. Is this a crab deck? No. This is a. Uh, this is an element. Yeah. It's very good though. When it or another elemental enters the battlefield, look at the top card of your library. If it's a land, you may put it on the battlefield. If you don't put the card on the battlefield, put it in your hand. So it's so just M twenty. It's just a bunch of elementals. It does have an elemental theme, yeah. Hmm. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to play these guys. Yep. The little them. scampy boys. Scampy boys. And then we're going to get in there with everybody. Let's we'll see what you want to do here. Didn't want to do anything. Fascinating. Fair enough. So, next time we're going to play this as a 2-4, and it'll be a 1-2-3-4... So it's going to be a 6-4 with haste. That's nice. Everything is an elemental. Welcome to M20. Everything's an elemental. We haven't played anything that wasn't elementals. Feels like it, yeah. What is this? We're playing elementals and every competitor has been elementals. Master boot. I need to listen. I don't know that. And you never will. What kind of music is this? I'll add it. Ooh, Mars Wait, Volta, yes. Oh, until end of turn. Oh, that's what did not we as miss? Good. I thought this just gave haste in general. I don't think you're I don't think you're gonna haste the hundred. That's interesting. Oh, 
for so much value. This is Master Boot. Oh, it's called Master Boot Record. MBR. Oh, that's literally what he said. It's like a symphonic metal chip. What's chip tunes? Uh, kind of like glitchy. Interesting. Tell you. Uh, what's the other band? There's another band. Uh. Okay, so we can play Mew and Uncaged. One thing we can do is Uncaged Fury this to make it a two-three, pump it a bunch, and do like six in the air. One, two, three. Actually, no, right? It would be a two, two, three, three, two, four, one. So we could deal eight with this if we wanted to. The Master Boot record. Have you guys listened to uh, the Simeon Disco? What, uh, what is it? It's the Simeon Mobile Disco. That shit's cool. That shit's cool. <laughs> that shit's cool. All right, where are we at now? What, I don't what did know. you We're read? The end of turn. What was the end of turn thing that we got trolled on? What are you drunk? What are you, are you drunk right now? No, you said there was something that you misread as like an end of turn. Oh, this is this is not give haste always. It just gives haste until end of turn when you oh. play it. We have a couple options here. First, I'm gonna get in there with this guy. See if you want to trade. Okay, you do. So now we're just gonna pump. We got it. Sure. Now we're gonna play Wave Crashy Boy. Wave Crashy Boy. And we're gonna bounce this guy. Mama, lay that pistol down. Oh wow, yeah, they're not hitting the lands. Too bad for them. Also, I love the new Get Up Kids album. Oh man, I still have yet to listen to the new Get Up Kids. New Amsterdam's are great though. Mm. I didn't know there was a new Get Up Kids album. I know. I've been hearing about it. I heard it's very good. That's cool. You got it. My nose is itching. I promise I'm not picking my nose. It's just itching. I pick my nose. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate your honesty. Yeah. I don't eat the boogies, but, like, there was one time where I got sick, and I had, like, a really plugged up nose, and I was like, you know, yeah. I I'm just going to be picking. Here. Yeah. I got things to do, man. We don't want to play our planeswalker. I forget honestly what it does. I don't know if it's relevant. Actually, maybe we do. Maybe we do, and we negative on on this guy. Make it a two three. I think the problem was that they challenged a raging river. I think that is that's usually the the case. Yeah. How long does that stay at two three until our turn again? Until our turn, yeah. Wow. Wow, like every creature they played so far is an elemental. It's pretty unbelievable. Dude, all this is the whole set. M twenty. Welcome to elementals. Welcome to elementals dot deck. Yeah. Just two, huh? Fascinating. Tapped out. No block. Mortals are so reckless. Oh, wow. Okay. That's interesting. It doesn't give trample, though. Oh, yeah, but is our wave crasher flying? A wave crasher? Mm -hmm. No. Oh, I was like, do we just win? No, that'd be insane. Because that would kill them, yeah. Yeah. I think we just play this guy, and then next turn we have double uncaged fury. Yeah. Which, it doesn't give, like, quadruple strike, but... Wait, yeah. How's that... How would double uncaged fury... It would just give plus two, plus two. But we can put it on two different guys now, you know? Yeah, okay, okay. One, two, three, four, five. So now they have seven mana, though. Well, eight mana, I guess. Yep, that's pretty good. 
Oh, oh. well, that's pretty nice. Oh, shit. We're not oh, dead. Oh, I forgot uh, this lost flying. Oh, it doesn't matter, though, I guess. So I'm just gonna block here. Yep. Not being irresponsible. Oh, and then just empty. Why our own creature? Yeah, I think this game just got away from us. You think? You could have just won because they didn't block. I don't think it got away from us. Were we us. not tapped out? I'm pretty sure we were tapped out. I mean, we played... That's because we played Ripscale Predator first, I'm pretty sure, but... Why do I keep missing lethal in this fucking format? Did we miss? Uh, I mean, we were talking and shit, but what? What was the? What were was the misplay? Um, we could have just killed them for ten. Oh, with the wave crasher. Yeah. Because they didn't block. Oh. But I mean, like, there's no, there's no guarantee that they would have blocked. Well, yes, I'm aware. I'm aware of the rule of five-five double strike at dealt ten. Like. I'm pretty sure we even said that, but there's no guarantee that they're not going to block, so. We gotta be more diligent. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's a lot safer for them to block. To not block when we're tapped out, so. Yep. This deck is insane. Like. It is. It's, uh, elementals. Good, but I wish these creatures had trample. That'd be very wonderful. I wish, also wish this creature didn't get a trigger every time something died. Because it's just getting way out of hand now. Yeah, we'll need a silly removal spell for that. Yeah, unfortunately we don't have any because it's blue, green, and red. We so. have that ice. Yeah, I guess we have one sleep paralysis. I don't think it's over. It's just, where are they getting all this life from? Uh, This guy gains a life every time a creature dies. Jeez. And they also have like six cards in hand or two, so. That's true. They're like beating us at every metric here, which is pretty hilarious. <sighs> sure. <laughs> oh, why not? <laughs> I'm just like, is there any reason to play? I don't even think so. I don't know. Because what can we draw? Nothing. Like, there's nothing we can draw. We can draw one removal spell, and then they still get to keep a 4-4. Four -four. They still have five cards in hand. Like, like we can see what we draw. Sure. Okay. Post-combat gives trample. Sounds good. Okay. I don't know why you didn't play that pre-combat to give trample to your creatures, but... Let's go. All right. Yeah. Yep. Ah, ah, ah. You are winning the most mountains metric. I guess that's a good point. That's true. We got the Can't mountains. argue with that. Okay, so a superior elemental deck. Yep, nothing's really great here. Plummet could be decent, but we only have three forests. I guess if we hit one of the forests, it's good. Mm. You play the trample creature post-combat to flex on your opponent. You're like, oh yeah, I still had all these... And we have a knife. 
You call that a knife? You call that a knife? That's a knife. Yeah, it's a nice blade you got there. That's a spoon. All right, all right. I, I see you played knife. Blade face. to his motorbike tires. What's that from? What's that I from? don't know. I've just been saying it. <laughs> Have you? You've just been, been trying to work on my Australian accent. I think that's pretty good. Is it? Yeah. Oh, you can go out and have some beers. Some Dewey's and Tewies. Do you want? Do you want to go have some Dewey's and Tewies after this? Some Fosters. That's Australian for beer. Yeah, it's Australian for beer. Outback Steakhouse. No rules, just right. When you're here, you're here. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I always say, Ann. <laughs> Alright, you ready? Oh, yeah, look at this. Oh, yeah, that seems great. Three mountains, oh, three blue meteor cards, golem. and a seven drop. We could have... That, that would have been... Uh, Unsummon, my guy. I thought the deck was going to be okay. I feel that way about every single deck I draft in this format, I'll be honest with you. I always feel like, hey, this deck seems really good. And then they just have the f the the tits, and then I'm like, I can't. I, I want to draft another one where it's better. The new Finley is amazing? What is that? Do you know what that is? No. Is that a band? No. The new Finley. I have no idea what that means. What's this? No. Oh, Sir Finley of the Sands. Battlecry, if your deck has no duplicates, discover an upgraded hero. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's gas. What is that? That seems good and wild, too. What is that? What is your... Is that a Hearthstone? Yes, that is a Hearthstone. I'm in time for Finley. <laughs> I was like, what is that? What's Finley? I mean, if we can draw the three mana Planeswalker next turn, that'd be gas. Be great. We won't, but I mean, if we could, it'd be Correct. great. Correct. We didn't. No. We could. We could have. We could have, right. It's an option. And I mean, there's a chance we get a four drop. Is that a Hearthstone? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that a little Hearthstone? Oh, it's a Hearthstone. Oh, are you kids talking Hearth about you little Hearthstones? Hearthstone. Hearthstone. How would you say that? What? Australian. Hearthstone? Hearth Hearthstone. Hearthstone. Andrew, you want to go Hearth to the Outback Steakhouse Hearth after this tonight? Hearthstone? Hearthstone? We can get a blooming onion. Is this a stand-up desk with this nice wood finish? That's right. Wow. Well, I mean, I made no the rules, desk and I right. attached the legs to it to make it stand up. Oh. Wow. He's it's, a craftsman. Um, I, like, I like making things. No rules, just make it right. Just make it right in the Outback. I never know the borderline of like when you're being racist and when you're being just doing funny when you're voices. Just like, Let's do funny voice. I don't yeah, it's know, hard man. to say. Well, are we coming from in ill intention? Are we no, I don't think so. But I don't. Feel uh, less? No, we're definitely not. Oh god, are they gonna counter this? Of course they are. Why wouldn't they? Yeah. Well, yeah. Are those your little Pokemans? Did you win all the Hearthstones? I love, like, that dad character. Like, that dad bit of oh. just, like, oh, you kids are playing your cards again, huh? Hey, you got a... Who's got more magic right now? Oh, wow. You, you're playing... It's a Hearthstone. He's got a Hearthstone. Who has the most Hearthstones, kids? We anticipated. We did. It was real... It was real something. I was anticipating that moment. not good don't <laughs> you're just like staring you're like huh did you hear what i said did you i hope you liked it <laughs> standing in the door with a coffee are you winning son did i raise a winner or what <laughs> hey don't you don't let those hearthstones get you down is that the poor boy is he playing too hard because i'll beat his ass if I <laughs> wow that's aggressive dad <laughs> he's just so proud Look at these terrible, like, we're just using unsummons and plummets on 2-1 to I throw know, them cards. Dude, it, it it's not good, man. It's not. We're just dead. The only match we ended up winning, I, I, I think, like, I just, I think this, this format is an experiment for me, most of all, because every match, like, I'm posting so many losing records on YouTube, and <laughs> and it's just like, look at this, another, here's another island. We got it. We did it. <laughs> and it's just like, I almost feel like I'm just going to keep doing it to see, like, maybe I'll figure it out. Maybe you guys will still enjoy these. I don't know. I think that as a, like, watching, like, the honesty of just, like, being like, damn, like, they lost. Like, I think I'm, that that's, it's not the worst, right? Like, it's very real to just be like, yeah, here we are. We got crushed. Yeah, we're not cherry-picking our wins. 
No. God, he only posts the win. I remember back in the day for TCG player videos, people would be like, he only posts the videos he wins. And I'm like, dude, do you think I'm just seriously sitting here for like 15 rounds and only picking the best ones? Like, you're insane. What can we even draw here? Like, literal nothing. There's nothing in our deck when we're at two. The gall no. That, no. That's not it. That's not it. That's close, though. Mm -hmm. This is a good draft. I really feel good about it. He's great. You aren't? And what is that? 2-1? One? Oh, 1-2, one, rather. 1-2. One, oh, yeah. That was a good draft. The first draft we've done Arena, we went 5-1. What? And then we, we've never we never gotten that good. Let's open these packs while we're here. Give you a little bonus at the end of the draft here. Oh, Mythic Wild Card. You can use these to craft any wild, any mythic card, what? basically. Thank you. Pet number. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Icon of Ancestry. That seems like a weird card, but nobody cares about. <laughs> and uh, the same one. Stop. <laughs> this is just a draft. This Fantastic. is an archive of the elves. Fantastic. You can use these to craft any wild card, any illegal card in wild. Wow, that's mm. amazing. Thank you guys for watching this draft. Really appreciate it, even though we lost. And uh, maybe we'll get the hang of this format. Maybe we just don't care because the cube is coming out in less than two weeks. So uh, hopefully... What about the new modern set? Is that modern fun? Horizons? Yeah. That has actually been more fun than M20. Yeah. Uh, but these decks we've been trying in standard have been fun. Either way, slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out at manatraders.com. You can find the link and the promo code in the description. You will get 20% off your first three months of any subscription. And <laughs> check me out at coolstuffinc.com. Promo code FRANK5 gets you 5% off. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.